Breaking news. Donald Trump speaks on Hamas invasion of Israel, earlier predictions and solutions ahead. Watch what he said. And I stood proudly with our friend and ally, the state of Israel, and I will do it again. You heard about today, the Hamas, Hamas terrorist invasion. I mean, when you think about, and what do you think of Hamas? What do you think? Do you know about Hamas? The terror evasion of Israeli territory and the murder of Israeli soldiers and citizens is an act of savagery that must be and will be crushed and avenged, has to be crushed. Israel's at war and the United States has to support Israel. We have to support Israel. There's been no better president for Israel than me. And nobody loves Israel more than the evangelical Christians, I will tell you that. This war happened for two reasons. The United States giving Iran six billion dollars. How about that deal? We get five terrorists, they get five terrorists, or we get five prisoners, they get five prisoners. Call them whatever you want. Five and five, okay. I'm sure it wasn't a good deal. Because like in the case of Russia, one of the people they got back was the leading arms dealer in the history of the world. Okay? Leading arms dealer in the history of the world. He's going out now purchasing arms for Russia. Very good trade they made. I'm sure our trade was likewise. But they added one little caveat. Plus we get, for them, six billion dollars. So we get five, and they get five. Sounds good. And they also get six billion dollars. And our country's perceived weakness and an incompetent and corrupt leader, Joe Biden, who's left out all over the world. He's left out all over the world. People can't believe this is happening. President Xi, who is so smart, so many of these people, they look, they have a meeting, and they say, this can't be happening. The guy doesn't have a clue. And I predicted the war. A lot of the newspapers, thank you very much, fellas, they've been very generous to me. I predicted war in Israel immediately after it was announced that Joe Biden gave the $6 billion to Iran. They got so much money. At this time, Israel and the United States need a very strong partnership and leadership. I gotta have strong leaders. You don't have strong leaders, it doesn't matter how many army tanks you have. In addition to the billions of dollars given to Hamas, top funder Iran, Joe Biden restored hundreds of millions of dollars to the very corrupt Palestinian entities. He gave them hundreds of millions of dollars. Many people didn't even know it. Wonder what deal he made. Joe Biden betrayed Israel. He betrayed our country. As president, I will once again stand with Israel, and we will cut off the money to Palestinian terrorists on day one. True. We'll cut it off on day one. And Biden and Obama were terrible to Israel because they begged him. Bibi Netanyahu came here, begged Obama, begged him, please, sir. I mean, he literally, what? The way he was talking, it was the craziest thing. He was begging him, don't do the Iran nuclear deal. I ended it, and if they, we had our administration, we would have had a deal with Iran already. It would have been a good deal. They wouldn't have had a nuclear weapon. Now they're three months away from having a nuclear weapon. And once they have a nuclear weapon, the conversations become much more difficult. This guy, this poor, sad sack of a president that we have, will lead us into World War III, 100 percent. I've been, I've made the, and I hope that's a prediction that I'm wrong on, but we've never been closer. We've never been closer than we are right now. And he tweaks the wrong people at the wrong time. He says the wrong thing at the wrong time. If he says anything at all, he's not respected at all. It's a disgrace. They spend all their money with the DOJ on screwing opponents. That's what they do. That's all they're good at. He has, you are closer to World War III, and I can say this, if I'm elected, I'm the only one that can say it, you will never have World War III. You will not have World War III. Less than four years ago, we had the historic Abraham Accords, which everyone said, when will you get your Nobel Peace Prize? Should have, I had five things I should have gotten a Nobel Prize, but I said, I'm not gonna get one. They gave one to Obama when he got elected. Two weeks later, they got elected. He didn't, why did I get it? Does anyone know? He didn't even do anything. He didn't do too much after that either. But today, think of it. So 
just a short time ago, we did the historic Abraham Accords, and today we have the exact opposite, a major attack on Israel. What a difference a president makes, right? What a difference a president makes. As president, I also kept my promise to recognize Israel's eternal capital and open the American embassy in Jerusalem and got it built. I actually got it built. It's going to cost $2 billion. I did it for $500,000. You know that story. I also recognized Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights, something that they've been working on for 58 years. They never got it done. I got it done. And I withdrew the United States from the disastrous Iran nuclear deal. And we were in a position to make an unbelievable deal. And these guys didn't do anything. They, I kept saying, are they doing anything? They didn't do anything. We saved America once before, and I am the only candidate in this race that will save America once again. We're going to save America because we have no choice. We have no choice. So here's just some of what we'll do when we become we, we, all of us together, because we, this is a we effort. We become the 47th president of the United States of America. I will totally obliterate the deep state, stop the weaponization of our government, and overhaul the corrupt FBI and the very corrupt DOJ from the ground up.